Hi Moose. 2. I am very glad that I am able to meet here in private. Those shareholders are very curious about what is happening. I understand, gene editing could receive a lot of scrutiny, even if it is for the public good. Can you keep a secret? Yes I can, sir. Good. You may be wondering why we are doing this meeting in a locked elevator car. I have been wondering that exact thing. Very convenient, this segues into what I have to tell you. The gene editing is just a ruse for me to take over the world using a zombie army. The plan has been in the works for years. This elevator? I do not know if I wish to go along with this. Have you ever heard the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I am sold. What do you want me to do? I need you to contact Gendy. It is world domination time. It is nice to enjoy my day without having to pretend to be a leader of world peace. At least that gives me influence over the hero of Earth, Robert Ross. I better get that. Hello Gandhi, this is Edward. Operation Brains is a go. And I have the perfect target. And who is that? Mark from the famous soap opera High News. I know the producers so I know the actor's schedule. Go to the Moonwalk Cafe in Toronto and he will be there. Easy hit job. I see. He is famous so it will attract the attention of Robert and Karen Ross and then we can take them out. Genius. Ah, it is good to be here. After a long day at the studio, these lattes are a real pick-me-up. Hello Mark, I've been expecting you. What? What is happening to me? You'll see. I like brains. Or do I? Wait, what is going on? I wonder how life is going for Mark. I heard the season 2 of High News is being planned and I wonder when that will start. Hello! I am a zombie now. And you are going to die. Penis, I would like to call an Uber. Mark is now a zombie and I am going to die. This better not be another joke like when you called me so you could steal all my goldfish. No, I need to go right now. He's getting closer. You better not be joking. You're gonna be getting a good speaking when you get home. At this point, I don't know what's worse.